like it. My name's Wolfred Rivera, and I run this little thing called the Insane Asylum. <laughs> anyway, um, I wanted to talk about something crazy and unusual, and I said I always say more the merrier, especially when you're psychotic and you've got like you know schizophrenia and multiple personality disorder. So that's fun. So tonight I'm going to be talking with uh, two of my friends um, about some comic book related nonsense that I think is fun to talk about. And I want to first introduce the scaredy cat sitting next to me. Jess, say hi. Hi. Oh, that sounds so mean. Go ahead. Uh, tell me how you really feel. You're an ass. That works. Okay. And then next, I want to talk to my friend who's been a friend for damn near 15 years now. Xavier, say what's up, dude. What's going on? That's what's up. All righty. Now, um... Like I said, we're going to talk about comics and comic book related crazy nonsense tonight. And I figured I'd have a little bit of fun. I wrote it down a couple of questions that I want to ask everybody. I'll be putting in my two cents as well. So let me start off with the most common of questions. And Jess, I'm going to toss it off to you first. Uh, who is your favorite comic book character and why? Well, seeing as though it's the only comic book I ever bought in my entire life, it's She Hulk. And uh, because she's not the norm and she embraces that. Okay, and um, now it this isn't because of the fact that she's this tall, beautiful-looking, green-skinned woman, is it? The green skin has a lot to do with it. I don't know about the tall part, but the green skin. See, I knew it. Green skin, man. It's because I'm green, isn't it? Anyway, Zavi, what about you? Who's your favorite uh, comic book character? I'm going to have to go with Gambit. Really? Yeah. That's a good one. Why Gambit? Because he, what guy can fight other mutants with a deck of cards? This is true. I mean, if you gave uh, Deadpool uh, a deck of cards, I'm pretty sure he'll find some way to make it murderous. But uh, I think I agree with you. That's That was a good one. Thank you. And who could pull off purple? You know, now I think about it, besides... Well, even Magneto didn't really pull off purple too much. Yeah, that's a... That's another good point. Gamma has that nice dark purple. You know, McNeil's got that little lighter purple. That purple. Kind of purple? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Last time I checked, She-Hulk pulls off purple very well, thank you. That is true. She does. That's true. Yeah. It goes get, oh, well with green. Yes. Yes. That is the, that's like the perfect combination of like crazy necromorph kind of style. Yeah, you're right. See, and you think you didn't have anything to say. I really don't. Really. Could have fooled me. Um, for me, my favorite. See, I'm at a. I got a coin toss here. It's between Spawn and Batman. I'm probably gonna go with Spawn because he's. He, he look, Batman's a guy. We get that, and Batman is kind of like overrated. But not many people talk about Spawn anymore. And I, Spawn was like the first comic that really sucked me in. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to say Spawn because he came back from the dead for love, and I think that's. Admirable, even though he's gone through 40 levels of fucking hell, but I think that's I think that's something that anybody with the right mindset would do. They would go through that hell for the right reason. Alright, now, here's another question. Um, which comic book character best identifies with you? Now, I'm going to throw this one to you, Zavi. Which one do you think best relates to you? Like, who can you consider yourself uh, alike with? See, that's, to me, that's the hard question. Yeah, I had a hard time with that one, too. Because out of all the comic book characters, uh, so many years of reading it, it was like, which one kind of closest to me? So, it is a hard uh, answer to to say. But, um... I don't know, maybe Charles Xavier. Okay, now, you can't say that because of the fact the name's Xavier, damn no, it. No, not because of the name. Okay. <laughs> Why? Because, like, how we're all different. Somehow we all come together, and sometimes you guys come, come to me, ask for some advice and whatnot. Usually I give it right back. Some are good, some are pretty bad. <laughs> okay, so you feel kind of like a father figure. Sometimes. Hey, man, that's good. Hey, that you'll get no complaint from me. That's for certain. Okay, Jess, what about you? Uh, character that best identifies with you? Uh, I don't know. Like, I really don't have one. I mean, uh... 
So I guess, well, since you probably don't have one, since you can't come up with one, that's fine if you don't have one. Okay. I mean, I would personally compare you to Carol Ferris. What is that? Well, Carol Ferris, obviously, if, if those of you who are comic book nuts should know this, uh, she is the Star Sapphire, which means her uh, emotion is love. And you are just chock full of love. Like, you you will... Who the hell loves so many goddamn, like, wrinkly-skinned animals? I mean, oh really? <laughs> I mean, your, your obsession with bulldogs is incredible. And most people, will, and, and pugs too, and most people look at those dogs and like, Ugh. but you love these dogs, but it's more than just dogs. You love everything that you, re- if you put yourself to it, you fall in love with the, whatever passion you have, and you stick to it. And Carol's like that, not to mention you're also a hard ass. I am. Damn it. I've seen it. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen it! Um, I guess hey, it's for... why you guys love me so much. Damn right. That is true. Um, I guess for me, the character that boasts, that, that best I can identify with would be Static Shock. He's just a kid, and it's not because he's got locks. He's just a kid, happened to walk into a bad situation, wrong time. He's got these powers now, and he's not super powerful. Like, he doesn't have, like, super strength and super speed. He just controls electricity. Like, ooh, power, eh. But ultimately, like, at a certain point, he just stops. You know, he may have all these crazy powers that he can use with electricity. He's limited, though. He doesn't really push himself beyond the the normal measure. And I think that's a humanizing characteristic compared to a lot of other characters that are out there. So to me, Static Shock would probably be the one I best identify with. So, uh, the next question is, if you had three, any three superpowers, what would they be and why? Now, I'm going to answer this one right off the bat. And this one is very... I like this one because I'm, I'm a total nerd for this one. But, first superpower, invisibility. Because I'm a ninja. Yeah, that's right, I'm a ninja. Don't give me that look. Jess is over here giving me this strange look like, you're psychotic. You are psychotic. Yeah, but Hello, I'm... insane asylum. Shh, don't give away the secret. <laughs> <laughs> but no, invisibility would definitely be one of them because I would like to be able to just slink around in places I ought not be, you know, and if, yeah, you'll hear me, sure, and you can probably, like, see me on, like, some uh, infrared scope or whatever, I don't care, if your eyes don't see me, and you're looking at me, and you're like, eh, I don't see anything, but something's there, it's gonna freak you the fuck out, wouldn't you agree? 100%. Especially if you're just sitting there, like, in your bedroom, and, like, all of a sudden, shit starts moving off your shelf for no reason. There's a ghost in the room, you're psycho, there's no ghost, there's no such thing as ghosts. Yeah, there are. Anyway, um, my second power would be, uh, I would like to have Spawn's armor. Like, you think it, it builds on you. Not like a Green Lantern, but more like, um, more like Spawn's armor, where it's like, it manifests and shapes itself to what you need it to be. That would be my second one. I think that would be cool. Uh, okay. and, uh, I gotta say, is it like Spawn's armor, like, it drains the energy, or just, just the armor, like, it just stays on? Just the armor. If it drained, if it drained my energy, that would suck. But you know, that's that's the you know the two sided coin that Spawn lives with. But this is my personal opinion on this one, and I would like to have his armor, where it doesn't sap the life out of me as I use it. Right. Um, and the third ability would most likely be uh, super agility, because I want to jump in the air and do three thousand flips, and then when I land, I land on my fingertip, and then I go out into New York City and like make money. Just doing all kinds of stupid shit. I think that's an easy way to make money. People pay money to see people, like, damn near die. Jess, what about you? Um, I would definitely have to say uh, super strength. Because, you know, I love breaking shit. Woman after my own heart. <laughs> um, teleportation, because uh, I, I'm scared of heights and... I wouldn't want it to fly. That's an easy way of traveling. That's a good one. Mm-hmm. As for the third one, I don't know. It's uh, and she's lost. <laughs> no. 
Let's see. You're not you're not a fan of flying. No. Oh, well, that kind of takes flight out of the picture now, doesn't it? That's why I said teleportation. <laughs> well, anybody can teleport, Nightcrawler. Hey. Oh, well, no, for, for someone that you... I, I would figure probably... I don't know. Optic blast. Oh, no, you could be like fucking Phoenix. And just burn shit with a thought. Oh, that's lovely. What? You said yourself you like to break shit? Zombie, did she not just say that? Yeah. See? Pyro. <laughs> now I'm just making her out to be a pyro. That's a shame. <laughs> what happened to the, you know, super strength over here? What? Isn't because... that enough damage? It needs to be on fire as well. Why not? That'll be fucking awesome. You break something and it burns. It's awesome. <laughs> Zombie, what about you? I'm, first, I'm going to say fly. Okay. Only major because I hate traffic. <laughs> I think we all hate fucking traffic. Uh, and drivers, too. God, they're such fucking assholes. Fucking Jersey drivers! Anyway. Uh, I know that one. Now, I don't really have three. I just, just have two. Okay, that's fine. The second one is regeneration. Like Wolverine's regeneration? Yeah. Healing factor. Okay. Yeah, you know what? I, I agree with you on that. I really do. I would like that as a power, but the thing is, if I had it, I would do reckless shit all the time. <laughs> like... I would too. That's the reason why I want it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great. Now I can see it now. Zombie goes to the top of the entire state building. Bet you 50 bucks I'll survive this fall. <laughs> and I'll jump. Probably break every bone in my body. A few seconds later, get right up. <laughs> get up, walk back upstairs. Give me my 50 bucks, bitch. Yeah, I just look at you go. To save the Ouch. cheerleader, it's save Xavier. <laughs> yeah, save me, save the world. Exactly. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh my god, I'm glad I'm doing this. <laughs> I really am. I'm, I'm glad. This is funny. I like this. This is good. All right. Um, next question. Uh, who is your favorite villain, and why? Now, Zavi, you you go ahead and start this one up. Who's your favorite villain and why? Oh, I'm gonna go with Joker. I knew it. I fucking knew it. <laughs> why Joker? Uh, come on. I think he's the only guy that I noticed that will actually murder somebody. Yeah, you you, you have some villains that will hurt people. Joker has this sense of like you know like oh, I'm just gonna hurt him. Nope, psych, bang, kill you. Yeah, technically, yeah, I guess Joker would be one of the very few comic book characters out there that would legitimately kill. Like, yeah. just for no reason. And if you look at, like, not only just the comics, but also, like, animated movies and regular movies, you actually see him kill someone, like, cold blood. Well, no one said the Joker was the most sound person. Like, I... I Plus, if you, you don't even know if he, like, when he talks to people, if he's taking it seriously or he's joking with you. Yeah, you, he, he that that maniacal side of him, I guess, really gives you that whole big fucking. He should be more of the Riddler than the Joker. Shit, because you never know what the fuck's coming out of his head next. Yeah. Jess. Um, I don't really have a favorite villain. That was a tough one. Okay. Just like a lot of these questions. <laughs> <laughs> um, for me, I, it, it's kind of hard. Uh, even I had a hard time with this one. Um, but I'd probably have to say Clown from Spawn. Only, and, and I know, yes, I'm a Spawn fan. Clown is probably my favorite. Why? He is like Joker, but with superpowers. I was actually going to say him. I was thinking about him when uh, this question came up. You should have said that. Uh, uh, you know, it's not really, like, I kind of like, uh, like, how he was, like, th like the actor that portrayed him. He was really good. John Leguizamo. There you go. I couldn't think of his name for the longest time. <laughs> yeah, no, I think I think, I think he was did an amazing job, though. Oh, no, he did a bang-up job. I really think he did a, an amazing job as playing Clown. Um, I think Clown would be my favorite because of the fact that if you took Joker and you put a demon inside of him, that would be Joker, like, ultra. Like, that's that's super Joker. Like, it's almost like Joker. Titan Joker. He'd be that's... just like a mini-me Joker, but with demon powers. Yes, exactly! It's like, if Joker hired Clown... Joker would laugh the entire time while Clown was, like, disemboweling somebody with his fucking claws. That would be a vicious fucking combination. 
All right, here's a really tough question. If you're a comic book character, what would be your weakness? Because every comic book character out there has a weakness. Static Shocks, his weakness is he can't be near water. Um, Batman's weakness is that he can't do super shit. You know, he's a person. Superman's obviously kryptonite. Wolverine's is uh, having his adamantium ripped out of his body. And, you know, being around magnetic forces. So, Zavi, what would be your weakness if you were a comic book character? Now, that's a really tough question. And, uh... I'm gonna go with beer. Beer? (laughs) Beer and liquor. Beer and booze! Alright! Why beer and booze? God... Because, like, once I'm drunk, I'm vulnerable. <laughs> That's everyone. <laughs> exactly. That's the perfect weakness. Oh, my God. That is classic. That is great. <laughs> Beer and booze. drunk and next day woke up with bruises. What the hell happened? <laughs> it's like, I don't remember seeing that there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's That's a good one. What about you, Jess? What's yours? Uh, black eyes with dreads. Because I love you. <laughs> I'm flattered. And if anything were to go wrong with you, I think I'd smash them and then light them on fire, apparently. It's like She-Hulk. Exactly. <laughs> on rage. <laughs> <laughs> um, for me, uh, it, it's... Uh, I, gotta, I gotta get this out. For me, my weakness would be fried chicken and watermelon. No, it wouldn't. As much as I want to say that, no, it wouldn't be. I think my, my weakness would most likely be video games. And that, that's completely legit. Either video games slash or slash uh, uh, nerd talk. If I heard like two kids geeking out watching me fight somebody else, and they're like, "Oh man, it's like he just threw magic missile," you know, with a you know plus three attack on it. Like, wait, time out, hold on. You hold that thought right there, Mister Bad Guy. I gotta go talk to this kid. Did you just say magic missile? You play D and D? Which is twenty two to die? I'd me, I'd stop right in the middle of that fight, and I'd probably take a fucking semi to the side of the head but i think that would be my weakness it's like nerd speak and or video games if somebody said yo we're gonna go play fucking you know castlevania i'm in i'm dying what tough shit castlevania called i'm totally feeling the love over here by the way with that one thank you for that <laughs> you're welcome <laughs> you opened my eyes <laughs> <laughs> all right all right um all right here's a here's a good question i think everybody everybody's got their own little spin on it um what would your superhero costume look like jess i give this to you yeah oh, fully clothed because uh my god they need it <laughs> they need to start putting clothes on these women i feel bad for them <laughs> yeah have you noticed that i've, I've noticed this she hulk miss marvel wonder woman all have the same unitard look like has anybody else noticed that and did anyone else notice that they all have butt wedgies in them? Just saying. Like, hardcore butt wedgies. That's why they're so angry all the time. <laughs> <laughs> why are you so angry, Wonder Woman? I've got a goddamn wedgie in my ass. <laughs> oh, God. That's why She-Hulk's so angry, because she is so big, she can't reach back there and pull it. <laughs> <laughs> That's so fucked up. Oh man, that's a shame. Uh, go ahead, continue. Oh my god, I mean, Xavier topped it. <laughs> that's why they're all angry. Yeah, exactly. Zobby, what would your costume look like? And please don't tell me you you walking around with a big ass butt wedgie. Oh, <laughs> They'll defeat all the uh, villains. Uh, I know one thing: no spandex. Okay. That's a good start. Oh, come no, on. Man. Support the butt wedgies. <laughs> don't don't no, do it. No, she hawks going to have one. You got to have I'd one. I'd more crime. I'd be fighting more like trying to pick it. <laughs> <laughs> than, than like trying to beat up like some crook, you know, that's robbing like an old lady. It's Tell, like, I can't. I got to pick this wedgie out. It's bothering me for like a day now. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, stop or out. Oh, hold on. Wait, I got to get this wedgie out. <laughs> on a second. It's been digging in me all day. And what do you think is going to happen when you finally get that wedgie out? You're going to, ah, I don't care that he got away. That feels so amazing. Yeah, I'll be like, ah, that's good. Like, what was I doing? 
<laughs> Shit. Damn, he got away. Yeah. All right, so no spandex. No spandex. I'm thinking, like, you know, always love trench coats. So okay. I'll definitely rock one of them out. Uh, maybe some combat boots. Okay. You definitely got to get the combat boots in there. Yeah, no, for, like, maybe, like, I'm trying to think what type of pants. What would you go, like, uh, like, cargo pants, maybe combat fatigue style? Yeah, maybe a little bit of that. Okay. With different five sets of colors, but I don't know what type of colors, but, you know. Okay. What kind of shirt? Would you be rocking, like, a a button-down shirt with those pants, or are you going to be rocking one of your, uh, like, band shirts? Should be rocking out, like, a band shirt. Okay. Like, Wait. each crime I'm fighting, you know, you can tell what type of mood I am. <laughs> this, this is my mood t-shirt. <laughs> this is my mood t-shirt, you know? Oh, man, it's like, wait, you're you're wearing a, a MXPX shirt. Yeah, I feel like moshing a little bit. My, you know, if there's like an MXPX, you know, like, just catch the guy, throw him in jail. If I weren't a slayer, I'm going to beat the living crap out of him. <laughs> Dude, I'm being the shit out of his face. I got raining blood, like, in my ear. Raining blood! And it's like... Boom. Dude, no, you're making it rain blood in here with that guy's blood. Can you yeah. stop? Um, I, I'm definitely gonna go with uh, trench coat, obviously, because I'm a big fan of trench coats. Always have been. <clears throat> um, I'm gonna go with like cyber ninja armor underneath the trench coat, lined to the teeth with weapons. Nice. That's it. Like cyber ninja wearing a trench coat, point blank, plain and simple. Black and blue fucking color scheme. Enough said. You know, and then I blank out of existence, do some crazy flip, and kind of laugh while I do it, because I'm psychotic like that. <clears throat> All right. Now, here's, here's this one was probably the toughest question I asked throughout this entire thing, which was, uh, who do you think is the most underappreciated comic book character in the comic world? That's tough, because I don't even think even, like, Stan Lee could come up with one. So, Zavi, what do you think? Aquaman. Oh my god. Aquaman. Yeah, that'll do it. Yeah, that motherfucker. Times that man got fucked over. (sighs) They had to reboot his character twice. (laughs) Yeah. And, like, they apparently want to make uh, the Justice League movie. Right. And they're not putting him in there. Wait, they're not. Because that's basically fucking him over again. Damn, talk about taking it three ways to Sunday. Yeah. That's terrible. Jess? Uh, yeah, I don't have one, as usual. <laughs> uh, Surprise! <laughs> I, I said it wasn't gonna. It's not an easy question to answer. It's not like, hey, do you wear pants? Yeah, obviously, it's a tough question. Um, I have to go with Zombie on this one. Aquaman. I think Aquaman keeps getting royally fucked in the ass. Yeah. I mean, the only other person I can think of would be like, uh, the hell was his name? He was a comic book character. Terrible fucking comic book character. I think it was named, like Kite Man. He came out in uh, it was like DC Comics, I think. And when I say he was god off, he was literally a guy with a kite. That's it. What was it, Benjamin Franklin's son? That's what it seemed like. Like that was his whole gimmick. Like he just walked around with a kite, and he was a villain, which made it even worse. Like, what kind of villain goes around with a kite? It's like I'm Kite Man. I'm gonna kite you. How? I'm going to tie you to this kite and try to fly you up into the sky. And just cross your fingers, it's thunderstorm. It's like... I mean, I can understand why he's underappreciated, because nobody likes him. But at the same time, I would... Con- I, if we're going to on a consensus here, Aquaman definitely, because he's always getting fucking raped by big-ass beluga whale dick. Yeah, I said it. Yeah. <laughs> I know you <he laughs> said it. And everybody... Always makes fun of him. Yeah, you notice that? He's always got, like, the, you know, the gay jokes and things like that. It's like, hi, Aquaman. Hi, everybody in the Justice League. Why don't you come down to the shore with me? We'll get naked and have fun. Yeah. Yeah. No, he always catches shit. Yeah. All he's right. always alone. Even the fish don't even want to talk to him. Yeah. It's like, hi, fish. I don't know who the fuck you are. All right. Last question. Now, this is a battle. I want you to choose either two heroes, two villains. Have fun with it. You know, hero, villain, hero, hero, villain, villain, whatever. 
who would you want to see fight? And who do you think is going to win in that fight? Jess, you're up. Well, um, it's two heroes, uh, Wonder Woman and uh, obviously She-Hulk. Because uh, who wouldn't want to see that? I want to see who wins. Cat fight! Cat fight! <laughs> yeah. And uh, I don't know, I guess like they pretty, like, uh, to me, like they sort of have like the same, you know, super strength, like power, I guess. Like okay. they, that's like their power is super strength. Okay. Generally, <laughs> so. Who do you think will win? Um, my opinion, uh, She-Hulk. She-Hulk for the win! <laughs> Putting that so. big ass green foot down in fucking Wonder Woman's face, bitch! <laughs> <laughs> Zavi, what about you? Who would you want to see battle it out? That's a really tough one to, to think about, too. So, let's see. I'm going to go with Deadpool mm -hmm. versus Juggernaut. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. That's a damn good one. I can see those two fighting each other for hours on end. Yeah. I could actually see that happening, seeing as though Deadpool just won't die. Yeah. And I don't think Deadpool's really got <clears throat> much of a chance against Marco, a.k.a. Juggernaut. But, um, yeah, I could see Juggernaut getting pissed trying to beat up Deadpool, and Deadpool <laughs> the entire time is just like, can't hit what you can't. <laughs> Ow! Yeah. yeah, Juggernaut gets more pissed as Deadpool's making jokes. <laughs> It's like, I'm alive! I'm a... Ow! Stop punching me! I'm just thinking, like, how... Uh, if anyone remembers Fight Club with um, Brad Pitt getting beat the crap out of uh, from the, I guess, the bar owner. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden, he, the Brad Pitt jumps on the bar owner and starts bleeding on him. You don't know where I come from! I'm thinking that'd be Deadpool doing that the Juggernaut. <laughs> you don't you know, know what? where I've been! You don't know where I've been! Have you seen my flesh? Yeah. I, that would be a good fight. That would be a fun fight to watch, honestly. Big ass juggernaut versus little ass Deadpool. Yeah, I think that'd be a really fun fight to watch. Yeah. Um I don't know. It's like I I thought about this one myself. And I wouldn't want to see a fight where it was like two extremely powerful characters going at it. But there is a fight that I do want to see and it involves two supervillains. I want to see, <clears throat> as crazy as it sounds, Lex Luthor, because he's got that bionic suit, he thinks he's hot shit, but I want to see him go against the Joker. That's what I want to see. Joker isn't known for his fight style. He's known for just walking up to a person and you know, tapping him in the head. But I think this would be that one time where Joker would actually be like, you know what? I think I can beat this motherfucker's ass. And honestly, I think Luthor would be close to winning, and then Joker would pull some fucking card out of his fucking shoe and cut his throat. I really do. Call me crazy, but I think he would do it. Crazy. <laughs> Damn it! He's giving it all away again, man! Well, <clears throat> we've, we, for those of you who are listening to this, you have heard our opinions on these things. Don't call us crazy, because we're... Okay, we are crazy. Every one of us. Um, but, if you want to hear more crazy shit like this, by all means, please check out the YouTube channel. Go to youtube.com slash DamienXMarius. That's where all the Insane Asylum stuff is going to be. Also, now, because I'm doing it again, hit up the Facebooks. Look me up, facebook.com slash Wilfredo Rivera, because that's my new name now, because that's my legitimate name. Thank you, folks. Hi, how you doing? Um... I'm also on Twitter, too, if you want to have uh, send in any feedback through Twitter. Obviously, Damien X Marius at the Twitter. Uh, hit like, hit subscribe. By all means, just tell people about this. Zavi, you do, too. The whole thing is we want to make this shit big, man. We can only do it with viewer support. By all means, hit me up. Let me know what you think. Thank you, Zavi. Thank you, Jess, for participating in this chaos with me. Uh, any final words from you guys? Jess? Um, thanks for having me. Zavi? Wait, you're on social networks now? I know, right? It's crazy! <laughs> God, this is, this gotta be the end of the world now. I know, right? Look out, quick, look outside your window. What's happening? If it's raining frogs, make me some frog legs. <laughs>
Oh my god, he wants frog legs. Now we know it's definitely like, you know, the end of the world. Why? I eat meat. You don't like frog legs. How do you know? Because you've told me a billion times. Shh. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> for Jess and Xavier, my name's Wilfredo Rivera. This has been the Insane Asylum. And remember, don't take your meds. They're not good for you anymore. Except for the purple ones. The purple ones are really fun. <laughs> hey, man, I took the blue pill. <laughs> well, you're fucked now. Shit.